Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the HG Build Custom Lightning Back Weapon System Mark III. So first off, thank you to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for sending me this kit to share with you guys. This is, yet again, another kind of upgrade set, the build custom set that you can use with Build Fighters kits or whatever kits that you want. It's sort of meant to be used with the Lightning Gundam, but you can, you know, of course just use it for whatever. So we have some cool parts here. I actually don't have a Lightning Gundam to display this, so in the review of this kit I'll have to try it out on some different kits. But I think that'll be just equally as useful, right? Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess some of those parts are like meant to fit onto the lightning's guns, so I don't know. We'll see how it, we'll see how it works. I haven't opened this up and looked at anything yet, so we'll check it out. Anyway, so box art here, we can see there's the lightning gun there. We can also see a GM and an ale strike there using this set, so obviously a lot of different options you can do. Here on the bottom, we can see this number 28 in the line, so getting pretty high up there. On the side here, just again images of this, some parts of this set with the uh, with a gym, with a strike Gundam. Here it is with the lightning Gundam there, and then just by itself. Oh, this is with the lightning Gundam in like the flight mode. There, on the other side, just the flyer by itself here. So I think it's it's not bad looking like just like that, just on its own. So that's kind of not bad. 800 yen for the price tag for this. Let's see if it's worth it. That's almost. I mean, for 800 yen, you can buy. There's a there's a few HG kits, older ones that you can buy for that same price, or it's almost the same price as like a HG Iron Blood Orphans kit. So let's see if it's worth it. Sticker sheet. I can see there's just a couple on there. A few uh, like light tan color. It's not really a color I expected. Uh, red. Here, so that's pretty much it. Just two molded colors. There, I think it's there's not really too much more uh, in the way of colors for it anyway, so it's not too bad. For our parts list here, as you can see, it's just four small runners. Our front page here is in color, so it's just going to be starting off building like uh, what it looks essentially to be like the core of the backpack, and then like the wing parts, and then finishing that up, uh, putting the there's there's the kind of like rifle parts there. And then how to put it in flight mode, it looks like. It's showing you about the transforming, the lightning Gundam here. So just like a pretty simple tra simple transformation, folding up the arms and the legs a little bit, and then just mounting the backpack on top of that. That's pretty much it. And then just how to mount the backpack just onto just the Gundam in Gundam mode. And then the rifle here, you can use this. Ah, so you can use this just as a rifle on its own, or you can attach it onto the lightning Gundam's rifle. So even if you don't have the lightning Gundam, you can just use this just as a rifle, I guess just by itself. So again, we'll check all that out in the review. Uh, looks like maybe this includes, I think I saw it in there, this includes a uh, part for a beam saber handle as well, but again, no beam saber effect part, unfortunately. So anyway, let's take a look at these runners. So for our foil stickers here, you can see it's just six gray stickers. Two of them have this line running through them. Not sure where these go on the kit. I haven't looked that closely. You can see here we have the title here in uh, Japanese and in English. So that's pretty cool. Runner A1 here molded in a very bright red. I think if you're not planning on painting this, if you're planning on just snapping this out of the box and then just using it on some different kit, uh, this red is going to be hard to match if you wanted to like match it to another mobile suit that also is primarily red. I haven't seen too many kits recently that are molded in this exact shade of red, so it's not really going to match exactly. But anyway, of course, painting will always help out with that. Just main parts here for the backpack. I think this one is also for the gun there as well, here on runner A1. And then A2, just these few uh, red parts here, all for the wing parts of the kit. Runner B1, now again, is in a very off-white color, very, very light tan color here for this, very light gray, kind of. Uh, just a few parts there, these are for like the kind of rifle parts there, and here we can see are the two beam saber handles there as well. And then runner B2 is just actually a copy of the middle section of runner B1, so I actually have four beam saber handles, so I, I think there's maybe a beam saber handle in each of the four wings, I didn't really look that closely, but I guess that must be the case. Just in case anyone was wondering, the runner marking for these is all in uh, Japanese here, of course. HG144 scale, lightning, back, weapon system, mark three. So that's it for the unboxing of this HG build custom lightning back weapon system mark three. 
and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Now that we're taking another look at the cover art here, we can see it definitely is missing a lot of color apps with it being all molded just in that kind of off-white and red. It's quite a lot of like dark gray here and there uh, in what it should be, so you will definitely have to do some painting if you want to get it looking color accurate, but again, yeah, we'll take a look at that more so in the review, so stay tuned for that coming up next. If you guys do have any other questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.